Okay guys, so it has been a while. It, I think it's been like two months maybe since I last did anything with YouTube. Honestly, it's because of wrestling season. By the time practice is over, I'm exhausted because of school, have homework, gotta study, and then the weekends in season are full of tournaments. The days after tournaments, I usually just take as a rest day, so wouldn't be anything um, entertaining to film. Uh, speaking of wrestling tournaments, I think the last time I filmed, I had a black eye, and now I have a bruised cheek. <laughs> Um, I went to WRAL on Saturday. I got fourth. I wish I would have done better, but I still placed, so it's good. Uh, the bruises from there. Uh, this morning has been pretty productive. Uh, I got ready and I did like a new little eyeliner look. I just used, um, some brown eyeshadow and then drew the wing. I woke up at 7.30 this morning, uh got ready for the day and last night I made a little to-do list of things I want to get done today. Drinking my protein coffee and then once my sister gets back from the dentist we are going to go shopping and I'll probably do like a little um we're going grocery shopping so I'll do like a little grocery haul and then after that I'm probably going to get into cleaning and journaling and I definitely need a stretch so maybe I'll go through my stretching routine but yeah. Let's go ahead, go inside, and start on the to-do list, and let's have today be a productive and positive one. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my sister to get back from the dentist, I think I'm going to watch, um, or I think I'm going to listen to a Fernanda Ramirez podcast, and going to vacuum my floor, and then probably do some food research. Okay guys, this is my dog Gilbert, <coughs> and oh my god, don't snag my jacket! This is his reaction to the vacuum, okay? He tries to bite it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I already vacuumed, well, just finished vacuuming, and I was washing my bed sheets and like my duvet cover and stuff, so now I need to make my bed. That's the next thing on the little to-do list. And then we should be going grocery shopping afterwards. Okay, my bed is all made and it's Christmasified. And now we are going to go to the store. What are we making today? Bread, banana bread, pesto, and uh, another one. Oh, are we making oh, tortillas? Yeah, I have tortillas. All homemade. Butter. So we got some gouda cheese, avocados, I think we accidentally bought cucumbers instead of zucchini. <laughs> um, heavy Oops. cream for the butter, some oranges, apples, one singular banana for banana bread, cashews for the pesto, peppers, yeah, basil bananas, plant, chicken, turkey, wow. parmesan, vegetable oil. Now we're gonna go to Harris Teeter. I know, can we actually bought, we didn't even look for the stem of the zucchini. We just bought, all, we just bought cucumbers, <laughs> but the zucchini is like a stem. How did we not even look for that? <laughs> we're at Harris Teeter. No, sorry. Uh, we're getting produce. Uh, are we only getting produce? Yeah. Only produce. And then we're gonna go home and start I with baking garlic. our I forgot to get that at one. bread and butter. OMG, so I just made homemade butter that's so cool and then we have the buttermilk in here and then that was the water that i had kneaded in and then she's making bread buttermilk and butter okay on to wrestling practice the fit is just leggings under armor shirt bag it is now like 8 30 ish at night and i just took a shower um 
because in wrestling we really only went over like film we didn't actually wrestle we just watched um our matches from the tournament i just clipped my hair back and so now i'm going to um do my skincare lately i've just been doing one thing when i go to bed whether it's like the ordinary salicylic acid serum that's very hydrating or just moisturizing um but i actually found this oil in my mom's room she's an esthetician so i trust like everything she uses and she said i could have it because she doesn't like the feeling of like oils on her face um and i love this it's like it goes on so smoothly and it makes my skin feel so hydrated and so renewed so i've just been putting that on before i go to bed i think it's pronounced bakushil bakushil booster it's to regenerate and restore damaged skin and improve texture and elasticity which i can say is exactly what it does and it's so magical like my skin it's like, I feel like it's glowing a lot. I am breaking out like here and like right there a little bit, but also obviously my bruise, but I think it looks very nice. And I'm just gonna put on some aquifer for my lips. That is all I'm gonna do for now. I'll probably come back later to brush my teeth and floss, um, but we are going to finish this vlog tomorrow because I didn't get a lot of stuff done today that I wanted to get done just because I had to run errands and like carpool people. So tomorrow is also going to be productive day number two where we get the remainder of my little checklist done. So I'll see you guys then. Good morning. I just woke up and I'm going to go brush my teeth and everything and then I'm probably going to journal some. It is currently 7.44. Okay guys, so I just brushed my teeth and did my skincare and now I'm going to journal. So I've <laughs> I've had this journal for years. This is literally just from Claire's, I think. And I've had it since I was like eight probably, but I have recently, well, the past few years I've been using it. So I'm just trying to fill it up. But as of right now, it's this full. So only a few pages left, but I definitely have a lot I want to journal about today. I actually, I have a list of um, like journal prompts I want to use. Some of the things I want to journal about is just like kind of how 2023 went, like the ups and downs. I want to do like a little self-reflection, like just a little self-analysis because I feel like it's really good to check in on yourself like every once in a while, know yourself a little bit better, maybe analyze like some of um, habits you implement or certain behaviors you um, partake in and just know what you like and what you dislike and what you want to get better at and so on and so forth. So I'm going to journal about how this year has went. I'm going to write down some goals I want for the new year and some resolutions as well. And then I'm going to do a little self-analysis and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm done journaling. So I just have a nice little Christmas ambiance going on, some water, all my pens and stuff, and then my journal. So I've just journaled for about an hour and I got a few pages done. I so far have a year reflection, just like a short little paragraph, things that went right. I swear that was the longest plane ever. And it's still going. So I wrote about things that went right and also the things that didn't quite go so well and I wrote down a list of my achievements from this year and then we're gonna start on New Year's resolutions and goals. But I think I need to put more thought into this because I actually have not been thinking about what I want to do in the upcoming year. I have a few ideas, but I'm gonna go get breakfast and then return to this and then be like, okay, we have a plan, we've gotten food, we're thinking clearly, we need some coffee also.
coffee is made and now I'm gonna cook some eggs and cut up some veggies and make my breakfast wrap. I love the paper plate, but um, breakfast is just some tomatoes and peppers grilled up with some turkey and egg. And then I just put some homemade pesto over it. And they're just in like the little like um, tortilla bowl things. And then I have some blueberries and my coffee, some extra homemade pesto. We have a pearl. Hi, baby. I just finished up journaling about my goals for uh, 2024. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, and then there's like a second page. Not much on it though. Um, so I have it split into three different sections. So the first part is like my main goals. It's going to be like what I need to work on pretty much every single day to get to where I want to be. So the first one is to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which a thousand for me right now is a big number, but I think if I work very hard by posting more frequently and being more organized and planning out when and how I'm going to post and what the video is going to look like, I can reach a thousand in a year. And the second one is to win a state title for wrestling. And this one, I'm not gonna have as much time to work on because states is like in the middle of February. But if I keep working very hard in practice, if I believe in myself, get the right mindset and accepting failure as a motivation to work harder, then I could see myself getting there. My third goal is getting all A's in my college classes. So, I'm a junior in high school right now, and I have pretty much all my high school classes done, except for this upcoming semester, I'm taking my last three high school classes that I need to graduate. And then after that, my whole entire senior year, I can just fill full of um, college classes. So the second half, 2024, will be my senior year. And that's going to be all college classes. So my goal is to get all A's by studying very hard, asking for help when I need it, and just really absorbing the information and retaining it because it's very important. Some of my smaller goals, I should have wrote like mindset goals, but uh, maintain a better positive mindset through journaling, listening to podcasts, and um, watching motivational videos, following motivational people and such um and the second one is better self-confidence because i think we all need that and we all hope to have it universally but it's just another one of those emotions that nothing is permanent and your self-confidence may be higher one day and then lower the next but the real thing is it's not about having the confidence it's about being able to maintain it so it's like once you have the confidence, right, that's cool and all, but are you going to be able to have that for the whole entire week or a month or three months? And if you don't have that, then you're going to feel confident like one day and then you're just going to feel terrible the next. And when you feel terrible, it's easier to dig yourself into that hole where it's like, oh, why am I not as pretty as she is? Or why am I not accomplishing this many things or meeting my goals and stuff? And then that's going to hold you back even farther. So maintaining that self-confidence is going to be very, very important. And just learning how to give yourself internal validation, because that means when you're alone and you're overthinking and you're like, man, my confidence is very low right now. You can build yourself back up and you don't need other people to lean on and count on for compliments and such. And that's what ve what's very important, maintaining the self-confidence once you have it. So first get it, and then once you have it, you need to implement techniques to keep it. And that is going to be one of my goals for this year because self-confidence, again, it goes up and down. It's there. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's really there. Sometimes it's vaguely there. You know, it's just it's a mystery, and you just got to work with yourself. Some of my side goals which is mainly kind of just things I want to at least try in the new year is I want to cook and bake more and I actually it's not the new year yet but I did make butter like homemade butter yesterday so I'm very happy about that if you guys want a video of how I made it 
it's super easy. I can make a video about that. Um, I want to try ballet because I recently, so I was a dancer for six years and then I did cheer and then gymnastics. Now I do wrestling. Anyways, I was a dancer and my favorite part was ballet. And I think I took it for granted when I was doing dance because I was like, I don't want to do this. Like I want to be a gymnast or I want to do a different sport. But now that I'm a wrestler, I'm like, I've always wanted to try point and I've always like wanted to get back into ballet. So I probably want to take like a ballet class or maybe do some like ballet at home on like YouTube because I already know like the basics and everything. So I could just do it on my own. Also, I've been watching Black Swan and that movie is so good. And it's really inspirational for me to try and get back into ballet. Another thing is learn the bass guitar. So I actually have a bass guitar. I got it for free. I stole it from my friend actually, but he doesn't need to know about that. Um, so I want to learn the bass because it's currently just sitting right beside me and I actually want to put it to good use. And then I want to get into painting because it's always been something I've wanted to be good at, but I actually have never tried. I think I took like one painting class for like one day and that's it. Um, and then I want to get into sewing and create some outfits. So I know like the first thing you sew is not gonna be that great and grand, but it's good to start somewhere. And I wanna start somewhere in 2024. Another goal on top of all the things I wanna try is I need to at least get three of those things done whether it's sewing painting ballet or cooking more painting bass guitar you know just at least three of those things because there's five on that list so three is majority so more of my goals this is more like social is i want to spend more time like make more time for my family because i feel like this year that's an aspect i was very lacking in i was mostly go 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 sports academics um friends and stuff but i didn't make as much time for my family and i want to fix that this year or next year 2024 whatever um and then i also want to make more me time because i know that i since i was always go 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 between school and sports and then once i got home i like hung out with a friend or like called my boyfriend or something I didn't have time to journal and I think that's where my mental health slipped a little bit because I didn't really know myself because I was just like going through the routine. So this year I want to take more time to journal when I need to or figure out how I'm actually feeling and just a little self-analysis every once in a while when I need it and obviously like self-care pamper sessions because we all need that. and. Those are so healthy for you. So that's my little goals list. And then as I said earlier, I have my year reflection um, right here. Just this little paragraph is my year reflection. And then all the pink is things that went right. I have a list of things that didn't quite go my way. That's in green, but the pink is the positives that we took out of it. So. At the beginning of 2023, I that semester of school was so difficult because I had no motivation to do like anything. And I was just so like, ugh, with school, I was so done with it. Um, but in the pink, um, I have that we finished with all A's. So it's a little positive aspect out of the negative because even though it was a tough semester, I finished it and got all A's and I'm very proud of that. So I try to do that with all of the green things, add like a little pink part to make it positive. That really helps me when I'm writing out the negatives because it's always good to see the positive even in the negatives. So you can keep moving forward and just reevaluate like what you learned even if that thing was negative. And then I also wrote down my achievements for the year. It's a little list but I'm very proud and then back to my goals and resolutions and that's all I journaled about and I took a few breaks and stuff obviously but that took that took about two hours but I also like got breakfast in between got coffee and stuff 
and I also was researching videos and stuff for motivation. I like to watch Tam Kerr, and then when I was making breakfast, I was listening to A Better You, the podcast by Fernanda Ramirez, and that was having me think of like all the things I want to journal about, or like, oh, stuff for the new year I want to get done, and it helped me put all my thoughts together so I could journal about them. So I was doing research and cooking breakfast and stuff, and all in all, that took me about two hours, but it's very helpful. And I suggest that everyone should journal about the new year and this year so we can have reflection, but also progression. And it's very healthy just to vent it all. And then since it's written down, you can go back and be like, oh, that's what I was thinking then. Since I'm done journaling, I am going to get ready for today. And then I think I'm going to paint my dresser. So... I hope you guys enjoyed like the little New Year's recap and a little bit of inspirational talk. I'm feeling very positive, very energetic, very like motivated to go get stuff done. So I hope I can spread a little bit of that energy to you guys. So let's go get ready and then I'll see you after. Okay, so this dresser. So it formerly was this color. The whole entire thing was this blue and then the handles were like, or the knobs were like this grayish color, but I've painted it pink and white and now I only have two more drawers. But I just went ahead and got ready for today. So I like curled my bangs and stuff and got dressed. But the thing about the dresser is I've been working on it for like two months because I haven't had enough time to get it all done but I really, really want to finish it within this year. So obviously before 2024 starts, so it's just like one less thing I have to worry about, you know, and one more thing that I can complete before the close of the year. So I actually have a little list of things I, my hand is so unsteady. I have a list of things I want to get done and things I want to do while on Christmas break. And this is one of them, so we're gonna start it today. And this part of my room has been like kind of a mess because I just like have the paint stuff here. And then the decorations that were on top of my dresser are just like stuffed in the closet because I've been painting and I've had like the paint supplies. So that's what we're gonna do right now and hopefully get it done within this week because Paint takes time to dry, so can't get it all done in one sitting, but let's go. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the background, I just have the continuation of my little painting project, so it looks kind of messy, but I hope you guys really liked how I journaled and kind of did a little in-depth of what I'm journaling about, my hopes for the new year, and I hope you guys got inspired to be a little bit productive and get stuff done, prep, and get motivated for 2024. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next week because I think I'm going to film uh, what I got for Christmas video and I'm so excited. So bye guys.